Today we face the monsters that are at our door and bring the fight to them. Today we are canceling the apocalypse. What's going on on my YouTube? It is, I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys and continuing on in my series of Guillermo del Toro reviews. In today's video, I'll be taking a look at the 2006 fantasy film Pan's Labyrinth, another Criterion movie I just blind bought recently for the November sale. Man, I'm loving this collection. Living with her tyrannical stepfather in a new home with her pregnant mother, 10-year-old Ophelia feels alone until she explores a decaying labyrinth guarded by a mysterious fawn who claims to know her destiny. Pan's Labyrinth was released in 2006, and ever since its release in 2006, this has been seen as one of the best films in Guillermo del Toro's filmography, if not the best. I've been a film fan for a long, long time, and many people keep saying, Pan's Labyrinth is incredible. It's one of the best movies of all time. You'll never be the same again after watching this movie. Which is weird, because up until this video, I have never seen this movie before. I've seen other Guillermo films. I've seen The Shape of Water. I've seen Hellboy. I've seen Pacific Rim. I've seen Crimson Peak. I've even seen The Devil's Backbone at this point. But I have never seen Pan's Labyrinth until now, which is really crazy to say that, as this is one of the director's most beloved films. And I was not disappointed. I was very much impressed by this movie. I was blown away by the visual look and splendor of this movie. The movie is a lot darker than I had anticipated. Like... You know, your fantasy movies tend to be very whimsical and there's so many fantastical elements and different creatures and stuff. Usually there's a balance between good and evil in a lot of these fantasy movies, you know, like Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, Chronicles of Narnia and all that. But this one is one of the darkest fantasy stories I've ever seen. There's actually a lot of horror elements thrown into this movie. Like, I, I was looking at this movie and I'm like, the movie's rated R. And I was like, so how is this movie rated R? You, you don't really see too many R-rated fantasy movies out there. Ooh, you gotta watch the movie and find out, because it is rated R for a reason. The MPAA weren't messing around on this one. Pan's Labyrinth is an interesting little story. It honestly feels like the spiritual successor to The Devil's Backbone in a lot of ways. Both movies are Spanish-speaking films. Both movies are pretty much set in the same time frame. They were both set during a dark time during World War II. Both movies involve tyrannical leaders who are very abusive and victimizing to our main child protagonists. Our child protagonists in both movies are struggling to adjust to the wartime environment. And there's a lot of horror elements along the way. But... Even with the horror elements, there's still a lot of magical elements in this movie as well, especially with the creature designs Guillermo puts in place in this movie. The mix of practical effects and makeup and CGI is blended so seamlessly in this movie that I was very much blown away that I had never seen this movie before until now. I loved the world that was established in this movie. It's cool seeing the architecture of the labyrinth and the creatures such as the fawn and the infamous Pale Man, both characters played by Doug Jones, Guillermo del Toro's go-to guy for being the playing these fantastical creatures, and he's great in both roles as always. I enjoyed the main character Ophelia, seeing her struggle in this environment, and diving deeper into this mysterious fantasy world that she may or may not have a mysterious link to. It's all very fascinating. I will say... Some of the subplots in this movie regarding the context of what was going on in, I think it was Spain at the time. This tyrannical government and these freedom fighters going after him. And the leader of the tyrannical government is Ophelia's stepfather. That whole aspect, I mean, while it does build up near the end and it's paid off very well, I will say some of the subplots involving some of the secondary characters didn't really do much for me. The movie would cut back to some of these characters, and I'm like, okay, 
Uh, this would be interesting if I was watching a war movie, but no, I'm watching Pan's Labyrinth, a movie that you know I know why the sequences are there. It's easy. it's trying to build, it's trying to connect the real life horrors mixed with the fantasy aspects of the movie and showing where our main character is. I get that, but you're dragging this out a little too much at times. I think the movie, I think, could have been trimmed a little bit. Like, it's only two hours. Like, I think you could have trimmed 10, 15 minutes of this movie, and I think it would be a more better-paced movie, in my opinion. But I will say of the two movies, Devil's Backbone and Pan's Labyrinth, I think I will revisit Pan's Labyrinth more. I think, like, the world-building and lore of Pan's Labyrinth is so interesting. The movie had this very wild conclusion that I did not see coming, and it is a very dark conclusion. I will say that without diving into spoilers. The movie is such an interesting watch. I was very much fascinated by the storytelling. I loved the visual effects Guillermo del Toro brought on display. I think it is a very enriching story, and while it is a darker, more mature film in the fantasy subgenre, it's still a work of art. Guillermo del Toro is great at crafting these interesting, thematically rich movies with the fantastical visual elements that make his movies stand out and pop. And Pan's Labyrinth is definitely among his best films. Now, there's movies that he made that have come out since Pan's Labyrinth that I personally think are better than Pan's Labyrinth, but it's still a top-notch movie in its own right. And obviously, I do highly recommend this film. I'm sure most of you watching this video have seen this movie already. I know it's a fan favorite on Letterboxd. Even, with my, even though this was my first time watching the film, I still had a ball watching this movie. It's great to have it, the Criterion version of this film, as this movie looks beautiful, especially on the Criterion remaster. This movie is awesome, and I can't wait to see it many more times. I do highly recommend this one, one of Guillermo del Toro's very best. And at the end of the day, I'll be giving Pan's Labyrinth a four and a half out of five stars. And on the 100-point scale, it's getting an 89 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Pan's Labyrinth as part of my Guillermo del Toro director project where I'm going through the director's complete filmography from his directing debut to his most recent film. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you're a fan of Guillermo del Toro, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out my Guillermo del Toro playlist, where you can check out all the other reviews I've done in this series so far. At the time of this video, I reviewed movies such as his early work, like Chronos and Mimic. I've also reviewed The Devil's Backbone. I've reviewed Hellboy and Blade 2. I have more Guillermo del Toro reviews coming to the channel, so if you're a fan of this director, feel free to click the link in the description below for my playlist where you can check out my past videos and don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of future Guillermo del Toro videos. Join me next time in this director project. I'll be on a short hiatus on this project as I'm about to go into my 31 Days of Christmas series in December. But when that series is done, I'll be back doing more Guillermo del Toro reviews, starting with my review of Hellboy 2, The Golden Army. I can't wait to check out this movie for the first time. I have not seen the sequel to Hellboy before, and it'll be fun checking that one out. So be on the lookout for my review of Hellboy 2 coming to the channel after my 31 Days of Christmas series. But if you've seen Pan's Labyrinth, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!